Hey everyone and welcome back to another newscast. My name is Sam Healy and in this video we're going to show you all of the latest news about our projects as well as the company. Now as always, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you can skip to the parts that interest you by utilizing the timestamps in the description below. This week we only have new information on Solomon Kane and Darkest Dungeon the board game, so let's get to it. For Solomon Kane today, we just wanted to update you on one of the minis in the game, the Solomon Kane Bowstaff Mini. We received a lot of replacement requests for it, and Dust realized it was a factory mistake. So some of your requests had to be placed on hold while the Mini was being replaced by Dust. We received confirmations today and over the weekend that both Meeple Logistics and QML have received replacements for the Bowstaff Solomon Kane Miniature. Meeple Logistics will begin shipping them out to those who have already placed requests for a replacement. If you've already sent a request to QML, however, you'll need to send them another one as they didn't save the original requests that were sent. But anyone else who has a defective Bowstaff Solomon Kane Mini can now also contact both Meeple Logistics and QML to begin that process. We of course apologize for the delay, but a huge thanks goes out to Dust for being on top of the situation too. Hello Torchbearers, today we'd like to revisit our beloved antagonists in another boss spotlight. This time, we'd like to highlight a tragic figure, one that has foreseen the impending doom and tried to warn them all, only to meet a tragic fate. Let's talk about the Prophet, one of the bosses that the heroes can find in the ruins. This boss's threats make stress deadlier and harder to manage. His Hamlet threats are forcing the tavern to recover less stress, and his dungeon threats are causing heroes even more stress when they're exploring the unwelcoming locations and dungeons surrounding the Hamlet. Heroes will face the Prophet in a very open room with a lot of freedom of movement and repositioning. The catch is that the Prophet has three actions per round. Now, for its first action, he'll always use Calamitous Prognostication, placing four wooden pews in random areas around the room. For its second action, the Prophet will either use Eye on You, which targets a crowded area and causes stun and stress, or Fulminate, a skill that also targets a crowded area and causes blight. And finally, for his last action, he'll always use Rubble of Ruin, making the room collapse in those areas in which the pews were placed. <laughs> As you can imagine, heroes in those areas are very likely to suffer a massive amount of damage. And with that, we reach the end of another boss spotlight. We hope you enjoyed it and look forward to meeting the Prophet in person. Until next time, try to keep your stress low and your spirits high. Now remember that Leo will be live tomorrow at 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on our YouTube channel with a live Q&A in English and at 8.30 p.m. Paris Time with a live Q&A in French. So tune in if you have any questions or if you just want to see what Leo might spoil. But that's it for this week. Stay home, stay safe, and play some games while you're at it, and we'll see you on the flip side. Take care.